Hello, choir friends. So today is an informational meeting about how we're going to do choir for the rest of the summer and perhaps into the fall. So what's going to happen is every week you're going to have a recording that's going to come out on YouTube or on our Facebook page. Now, you can also request that I just send you a direct link to either of those so that you can watch these videos. Each rehearsal will start out with some sort of warm up, focus, something to help us get um, our voices in shape again, and maybe even help us to get better with um, the talent that we have. So I will sing and give you warm ups, and then you will just do them along with me. So I will say, you know, let's stand up and let's have good posture and all of those things. And you will practice that. Then we will go into learning our pieces. So for the first few weeks, we're only going to do pieces in unison because I need to get good at the software that we're going to be using to put all of your voices together. So our wonderful, fantastic Sue Hewlin has already recorded accompaniments I will have the accompaniment in my ear. I will then play the melody and I will record that so that you have the perfect timing of the melody and you can practice with that at home. But we also will learn the melody and talk about dynamics and things like that during the choir practice, okay? Now, this is where things get a little different. You have a choice. You can either record at home or you can come in and record. Now, let me turn this around if I can, maybe I can't. So we have a setup here. There is a microphone that you will never touch. There's a uh, tripod and a camera if you need, if we decide we want video. And then there's a music stand. What you can do is you can make an appointment once you feel like you know your music, and I'll have a date, a deadline that we need to turn in our recordings by, but you will make an appointment to come into UPC. You will come in wearing a mask. I will get everything set up. I will leave the room and you will sing. I will be wearing my mask the entire time. And then I will clean with Clorox wipes all of the surfaces that you have been around while in here. We will also make sure that we have sufficient enough time in between each recordings so that you feel comfortable about coming in and recording. Now, what if you don't want to record here? That's totally and absolutely fine. You may record at home. This is what you have to do in order to record at home. You have to have some way to put the recording of me singing in your ear, into an earbud or, um, so what you might want to do is use your phone to play me singing and you singing along with me with your phone, but then you use your laptop or iPad to record. And then you just simply send that recording of yourself to me. And what I will do then is I will take all of the voice recordings that we have and I purchased a program that allows me to take multiple different tracks and combine them together. Now, it's crucial though that you sing along with me because I will have the right timing to go along with the accompaniment that Sue has been so gracious to record for us. So let me explain this again. Hopefully it makes sense. You may either come in and record and I will assist you with that or you may record at home. Now, if you need to, you can even have an appointment with me where I come and show you how to do this kind of recording. I'm more than willing to come to your home. I won't sit on anything. I won't touch anything. I'll wear a mask and I would be more than happy to show you how to do this recording so that we can continue to have choral music even though we can't be together right now. So starting next week, we will have our first choir practice, which will begin with prayer.
So if you have prayer requests that you would like shared with the group, and they will be on Facebook and they will be on YouTube, please only prayer requests for yourself or people that you have permission, direct permission from to share the prayer request. And then we will do some sort of warm up, some sort of like, um, we, we, and I will talk to you about different concepts that we'll be working on. Then I will teach you the line of the first song. You will get in a separate email the recording I would like you to listen to and sing with. So we'll probably go slower at first. So I teach you the notes and the words. You will also get a scanned in copy of the music that you may print out for yourself. All right. Now, this music has been purchased in such a way I purchased a book that can be photocopied. So that is totally legal what we'll be doing. So I will be photocopying and also, and, and if you want a photocopy sent to you or you want to pick it up here at the church, just let me know. But otherwise, we'll just scan it in and send it to you. And then I will have a deadline by which you will need to send in your recording. And there again, be in contact with me, okay? The best way to contact me, honestly, is through texting. If you, especially if you want to talk to me immediately, you can text me at 309-397-4367. I'll give you a second if you need to get a piece of paper and I will repeat myself. So 309-397-4367. And just tell me who you are and what you need from me and if I'm busy, I won't be able to take your call, of course, right away, but I will text you as soon as I get a chance. That's the best possible way to get a hold of me. Of course, email is always great, and you may also call me, um, but we just never know what I'll be doing, so um, texting is the best. If you have any questions, concerns, hopefully this works out. Um, I'm also encouraging, if you know people that go to different churches, but like to sing and their church isn't really doing a lot right now or if they just really like to sing and they would like to be a part of our choir as well, this kind of virtual online choir, I will be giving vocal tips. So I highly suggest youth, asking youth, your grandchildren, neighbors, anybody. I'm, we're really wanting around, you know, age 11 and up probably to be in this choir. So any voice and don't worry if you feel very exposed you're not going to be able to pick your voice out when we have these recordings because I'm going to mix them in such such a way that we hear one voice of the choir so try not to worry about that you just might feel a little exposed while recording yourself so next week we will begin with a formal rehearsal and that will come out every Wednesday, all right? It won't be live because we've had to change our time for the band to come in and practice and record, but I will pre-record everything and then I will post it on Wednesday on our Facebook group for the choir, which you may share with people, and also on our YouTube page, which is open to the entire public, all right? God bless you all. I miss you so much. I can't wait to hear your voices. You take care and I will see you next Wednesday.